This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you 6 tips and tricks on how to spice up your beach photo shoots. My first tip is to always try and find a beach that is a bit more interesting than usual and has something going for it. I know it's not always possible to find a beach with crystal clear water and white sand, but I always try to make sure that the beach either has interesting rocks or good foliage like palm trees or just loads of greenery. This beach, for example, had a lot of really unique trees and the beach itself curved into a mini river, which gave it a really jungly vibe. I try to avoid beaches with not much background going on as it can make the photos look quite boring as well as it can add a lot of unwanted overexposed skies in your images and the trees also help immensely when shooting in the midday sun as they offer some light alternative which can be super helpful. My second tip is to always try and color match my model's outfits with the surroundings. For this particular shoot, I asked her if she happened to have any green bikinis, which she did. And she also ended up bringing a sand colored one, which I thought looked perfect, especially when shooting towards the golden hour. Color matching is my personal aesthetic, and of course, it is not necessary to make your photos look great. However, I find with color matching, it's way easier to make your work look a bit more consistent, and a lot of the time, it ties the photo shoot together. If you're on a budget and you don't have access to a lot of bikinis, you can either ask your model if she has some, or try and invest in maybe two or three staple pieces that you can reuse over and over. Tip number three is to always utilize your surroundings and try and find natural frames within the image. In this particular example, I found an opening within the trees and I placed my model right in the middle of the opening. This way I separate my subject from the background, but I also create a very interesting visual perspective. I know you don't always have access to trees like this, as this beach is quite unique in this way. However, you can easily get your model to hold onto a tree branch and create a less intricate but still effective frame this way. Using a shallower depth of field and shooting through foliage is also a great a simple way to create these natural frames, as there's usually trees and branches that you can pick up and hold in front of your camera. Tip number four, always adjust your white balancing camera to be on the warmer side. It usually gives the skin a beautiful golden glow and helps to see the images how they will look after post-production. The better the photos look in camera, the more excited I tend to be during the shoot and that helps to create amazing images. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that will help you make your dream website, portfolio, or an online shop become a reality. Squarespace has hundreds of beautiful templates, so you will definitely find something that suits you and your personal style. You can build a professional portfolio website in a matter of hours, and you will be able to customize it every step of the way. So it's so you that nobody can deny it's not. As we all know, social media presence is power, and with Squarespace, you'll be able to auto-post all your content to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr with proper tags and descriptions. Finally, Squarespace helps you with the marketing, they help you with SEO, as well as some plugins for Instagram stories and so on, as well as share buttons so your followers can give you some juicy shoutouts on their social media. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anita to receive 10% off your first purchase. For tip number five, make sure to take advantage of water during the golden hour and don't be afraid to shoot backlit even if it means overexposing your images a little bit. Water creates the most beautiful light reflections when the sun gets lower in the sky and gives a beautiful whimsical feel to the images. Finally, for the tip number six, I like to take advantage of movement and find ways to accessorize my shoot to give my model something to play with. In this particular example, I asked my model to put on a gold shirt that she brought with and I asked her to go into the water and play around with the placement of the shirt as well as softly move around. This is especially beneficial if you're working with someone who might not be super comfortable in front of the camera or if you yourself are unsure of how to pose your models. It gives you both something to work with and it makes the images so much more interesting. 
Don't be afraid to also experiment with different crops and move around your subject as much as possible to get a variety of shots. Okay guys, that's it for today. First thing I wanted to say a huge thank you to my YouTube family. I just reached 300,000 subscribers, which I'm super excited about. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. And I hope I will see you guys next year. Um, this is it for today. Let me know which tip was your favorite, if there was any that you already use. I hope you guys have a great holiday and I will see you in the new years.